In this video, we learn about flame retardant cable versus fire resistant cable. So without further delay, let's get into it. The first thing is flame retardant cables are basically cables that retards the propagation of fire. So it will try to reduce the propagation of fire. The word retards here is important and that is why the name has come as fire retardant cable. That is, it will try to prevent the propagation of fire, but it might not operate as normal in condition of fire. Now, in terms of flame resistant cable, if you see it tries to resist the heat of fire what it means basically is if you see the word resist here that is how the name is derived fire resistant cable it will resist the heat of the fire and still try to operate as normal for a specified period of time obviously it might not work for hours and hours but maybe for 180 minutes for a few it, it depends on the type of the cable and the insulation which is selected but for a certain specified time and a certain specified temperature it will still keep on working as normal even under fire condition so these cables are usually preferred in terms of emergency shutdown systems where in the case of an hazard, the system has to still work and protect the environment, people and the assets. In terms of standards, we are having two most important standards that have been very widely used in the industry and they are the IEC standards. The IEC standards that we have is IEC 60331 and IEC 60332. Now if you see the difference between these two lies in the last digit, the 1 stands for fire resistant cable and 2 stands for flame retardant cable. Also, there are some other standards like BS6387, etc. These are important, but usually the most important and the most widely used standards are the IEC standards. As a thumb rule, you could say that fire resistant cable are usually red in color and flame retardant cable are preferred to be black or gray in color. If you see in terms of flexibility, flame retardant cables are considered to be more flexible as compared to flame resistant cable. Why is it so? Because the insulation here for flame retardant cable is less as compared to fire resistant cable. So they are more flexible. Why? Because fire resistant cable has to actually even take all the heat and still operate as normal. That is why it has to be heavily insulated. And because something is heavily insulated, we can come to the logical conclusion also that in terms of flame retardant and flame resistant, ideally flame resistant cable will be more costlier as compared to flame retardant cable. Let us have a quick summary of all the points discussed. So in terms of flame retardant cable, it basically prevents the propagation of fire with respect to fire resistant cable. It works as usual for a specified time and temperature in conditions of fire as well. The second important thing is in terms of the standards. So we have IC60332 important standard for a flame retardant cable and IC60331 for flame or fire resistant cable. The next important point is color. Flame retardant cable are usually gray or black in color while wire resistant cable are usually preferred to be red in color as a rule of thumb it depends on design basis and the client requirements but these are just basic thumb rules in terms of cost fire retardant cable will have lower cost as compared to fire resistant cable because of as we discussed the insulations etc and finally in terms of flexibility the flame retardant cable are more flexible the fire resistant cable are comparatively less flexible i hope you have enjoyed the video if yes please subscribe let's meet next saturday and learn something new and amazing again till then take care happy learning